climate change is linked to the health of the nation because generally too, when we have these hurricanes and droughts and so on, the impact um, on the health of, um, of food crops and our animals. Uh, in fact, we have lost about 50% of you know, our ruminants. Um, uh, when you look at our sheep and goat population, um, they are, uh, um, our sheep and goats, um, they have actually reduced by at least 50% because of the consistent droughts. And also, you know, farmers from time to time would have lost their crops as a result of um, hurricanes. And even the droughts would have created a problem in that um, farmers cannot produce enough um, food in order to satisfy the domestic requirements. So the provision of um, fresh, healthy produce has been a problem um, here in Antigua and Barbuda and in other small island states. And that is because of the impact of um, climate change. Now, Climate change obviously is contributing to global warming because of the uh, emissions from the large emitters, including the United States, uh, China, and um, those European countries that have these large uh, manufacturing uh, bases. And we are saying that, um, you know, this idea that from time to time they pledge funds, billions of dollars, and then we appear to be mendicants waiting for gifts from them, that is not an appropriate model. Uh, the proposal from Antigua and Barbuda is that um, there should be some form of um, obligatory compensation for these um, large emitters, these profligate users of fossil fuels, to pay compensation for loss and damage. Because, you see, when a hurricane, for example, um, strikes a country here in the Caribbean, destroys infrastructure, uh, destroy um, well, even lives and, and livelihoods. There's a cost to it. And it is really those large countries that would have contributed to global warming, resulting in more powerful and frequent hurricanes that have created um, you know, this problem for us in which we have to borrow repeatedly to repair damaged infrastructure. That in itself would have driven up the um, GDP of these countries. So we have these debt burdens. And we think, too, that one of the instruments that they should be utilizing as part of the compensatory mechanism is to offer us debt right off from time to time, especially, um, you know, we would have had um, recent storms. And maybe, too, it should be even retroactive because the debt is there already. And um, when you look at Antigua and Barbuda, for example, over the last maybe, let's say, um, three decades, hmm. we have had probably about 10 storms that would have um, created significant damage. And uh, even previous administrations have had to borrow in order to repair infrastructure. We have not even fully recovered from um, Hurricane Irma, with the situation there in Barbuda. Uh, and, and then, you know, after we would have borrowed to repeatedly to repair our infrastructure, the, the, the international community then argued that our debt to GDP is, is too high. Hmm. But what was our option? I mean, we could not just sit back and do nothing. We had to borrow in order to recover. And because they, at fault, they're the ones who are emitting all these... Um, you know, um, greenhouse gases into the Earth's atmosphere. We think that they have an obligation to pay, not to come from time to time and make pledges. Many of them are actually unfulfilled pledges and to, you know, have us like mendicants and, you know, treating us so we're begging them when they're the ones who are creating the problem. So here's a situation in which they're benefiting um, uh, proportionally from burning fossil fuels, um, fueling their, you know, very um, lucrative manufacturing um, sectors. But on the other hand, we're the ones who are suffering disproportionately and have to carry a higher cost to, to, to recover. So there's something fundamental about, fundamentally wrong about that. So we're asking for climate justice. And as far as we're concerned, climate justice in this case requires a legal, obligatory, compensatory mechanism for these developed countries to settle um, you know, um, the damage, the loss and damage um, arising from these climate events in um, SIDS. Okay. 